to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning guys How's everybody doing this fine Monday or Tuesday morning? Yeah, Monday was yesterday <laughs> I don't know why I was thinking Monday, but hey, today is Tuesday. That's right. And we are just about in Laredo. Just about. Yeah. I got 21 miles to go to my first delivery up here in Laredo. That's correctamente. I do speak a few words of English and Spanish. <laughs> Yeah, well these guys only open at 8.30 according to my system, but uh, I'll be there around 8 o'clock, maybe quarter to 8 it looks like. At least that's what it's showing. Well, it's only like 23 after 7 right now, and I only got 20 miles to go right now, so yeah, I'll probably be there a little early, but you know what? I don't care. Hopefully I can get in there right away ASAP, they'll get me unloaded. I can make my way to uh, my other delivery, you know. Hopefully, I can get unloaded early enough today to where I can make it over to the uh, last delivery today. We got four deliveries left on our uh, truck, so uh, hopefully, we can get everything off today. That would be awesome if I could get everything off today. Yep, but. We'll just have to keep our fingers crossed and go from there, right? So let's make our way over to our first delivery and see how it goes. Alrighty guys, this is where our delivery is going to be at. We are in an industrial area just across the border from Mexico. In a quarter mile. Into the United right States of America. Circle. Yeah, and I've been here one time before, but been such a long time ago that I'm gonna have to try and remember exactly where I gotta go here I think it was on the left hand side or where I had to go but I'll just try and find out I guess just go there and see it's gonna be either on the left or on the right one or the other because it's just a circle here and that's all it is feet, turn right on Lag Diamond circle that's right I remember last time it was a bit of a difficult two uh, situation, but if I remember correctly, it was here to the left. But the GPS keeps saying it's over there. But I'm gonna have a look and see if they got any signs up here saying which way it's got to be in. We'll know here in a minute or two. All right. Well, that one says Macro Express that way, so. Sure, it's this way here, so we'll go down here and we'll find out. Here you go, guys. You're gonna get to see where we leave again. Yeah, this is it. We got a bit of a deep gouge, or whatever you want to call it, right here, so it goes down like that, you know. But this is just shy of the Mexican border. That's right. I've been here before, I knew I've been here before, and I knew where to go, and uh, I was happy that I got there early, because there really wasn't that many trucks ahead of me, so it only took one hour and 15 minutes from the time I got there till I was unloaded, so that's not bad for this place, you know, I've been here before, like I said, and I think last time when I was down here, it took like three hours or something like that to get unloaded. So let's get out of here. Let's get over to the other two places here in Laredo. We we'll have to get those two places off, and, uh, and then we'll have to see if we can uh, make our last drop up there by uh, Mac Allen. It is actually reason I'm in the left lane is because I gotta make a left hand turn here right away. <clears throat> and hopefully we'll be uh, 
quick, 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 like that, the, la the next two drops here, so that way I can Nicole make it Levine, to my uh, last Dunn, delivery today. Road, at 1472. Apparently they're open till 5 o'clock today. Now if I can get uh, delivered there today, that would be awesome, so that way I could start heading towards my uh, new location. They already asked me if I could go to Toronto from here, and I said yes, I would love to. So, uh, but if you go further south here, you're in Mexico, buddy. You are in Mexico. That is correct. I don't know what this pickup is trying to do, so. All right, he's stopping. Okay, we gotta go that way towards Laredo. Supposedly, this is part of Laredo as well, but uh, I don't know where. Or how? Because it's 17 miles from this place where I just delivered at Continue to actually road. my Take next delivery miles. up there in Laredo. So I don't know how they can call this Laredo as well, but supposedly they do. So we got a phone call, so we'll be right back. So far we are right on target. We just finished mile. delivering our second load. Road. Yeah, that one pretty good. In no problemos. No problems. <laughs> Yeah, so now we just got to find our uh, third delivery up here in Laredo. That's right. Oh man, the road is rough up here in some areas. But that's the way it is. We got 2.1 miles to go to our second delivery. These two are certainly very close together. So we're going to try and find that place. Hopefully they'll take me in right away and hopefully they'll get me unloaded ASAP. If that is the case, then uh, I might able might be able to get everything off today. We have made our third delivery up here in Laredo. Yeah, now we are ready to go to our final destination. GPS says about 20 to 3 we should be there. No, that could be depending on how everything goes uh, up here with traffic wise and all that stuff. So, uh, Speed warning. we'll just have to keep an eye open and see how everything goes. In but 0 uh, 2 miles, take the entrance to the left on I 35. According to what uh, dispatch has told me, they're open till 5. So. I guess as long as I as long as I get there before five, I should be all right. I think I should be. Now we just gotta make sure we're gonna be in the right lane over here. Well, I guess we're gonna have to make our change of lanes. We gotta be in this lane over here. Yeah. So we gotta be on 35 South. In a quarter of a mile, keep to the left on I 35 South. Go a little deeper into Laredo, I guess. Very close to the border, and then we gotta make a left hand turn. Oh, I guess you decided you didn't wanna go that way. Okay. Well, we gotta take this 35, go down here for a little bit. See how far they want me to go down over here. The Rand McNally wants me to go to US 59. Take that over and then, uh, yeah, and I got my uh, phone set up for uh, Google Map and they're telling me to go up to 83. No, I don't know which one is better. But I guess we'll just have to keep our eyes open and see. I know 83 is a truck route, so maybe that might be better. Just have to see. This is what uh, this apparently looks like. Big trucks alignment. Oh, okay. This is uh, pretty much part of Laredo. And it looks like a different world in here, you know? I mean, these uh, buildings here, I mean, they look completely different. They look like Mexico. <laughs> Although I have never been in Mexico, they do look like Mexico type style, you know, but uh, same thing in Paraguay as well, you know, like uh, every building is painted with all kinds of names and 
labels and stuff like that. It's just like in Paraguay, you know. But that's the way it is. You just have to uh, accept the fact that a lot of Mexicans live up here and that's the way they like to have the buildings, you know. And that's okay. I just figured I'd show you a little bit of Laredo. This is more of the, I guess we'd call the actual part of Laredo. The other one was more the industrial part. I guess this is more of downtown Laredo. This is probably another two, three miles down the road. Well, probably two miles because this was mile marker two, the exit that I took. So probably another two miles further south and I would be in Mexico. That's right. Mexican grocery store. Wow, that's nice. That yellow one there to the right, that was a Mexican uh, restaurant. Wow, there, uh, I mean, uh, grocery store, that's a restaurant right there. Yeah, just a different type of scenery you will get every once in a while. From the almighty trucker Rudy, that's right. That is correct all. But that's okay. It gives you uh, different sceneries every once in a while and it makes it interesting, doesn't it? At least in my opinion it would. Really would. I just, I don't know, at the, at the beginning when I started going to Laredo, when the first time I ever came to Laredo, I'll be honest with you guys, I was scared. I was really scared to go into Laredo. Because all these stories that you always hear on TV and all that, you know, about uh, Mexican or, or about Mexico, about all the drug cartel and all that. No, I'm sure there is a lot of that going on up here. Don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure there is, but uh, I don't uh, ever see any of it, you know? And uh, I've been in Laredo a few times now, and I've always been safe out here. It's never been a scary moment yet for me. Although I ain't gonna say that ain't never gonna happen, but uh, life is different up here. Hmm. Look at this morgue up here. Look at all them flowers they got all over this place. Wow, look at this old dude up here. A little bike there. That's probably what he does for a living. Collect beer cans and probably goes and sells them. That's right. Man. Sometimes we think we don't have it so good, you know, but then when you see these people up here, you know you have it just perfect the way might not be always perfect I guess, but uh, you should probably say you should uh, you have a good life compared to some of these people down here, you know. Yeah. Look at this, they got a big place for a memorial here, you know, or whatever you want to call it. I'm not sure exactly what they call it, a morgue or, yeah, I'm not sure exactly what the English word for it is, but where all the dead people are being buried. Yeah, that's the way it is. What is that? It looks like a big hotel there with palm trees up there. That is absolutely gorgeous. Wow. Man, I've never been on this part of uh, Laredo before, so this is just fantastic. Looks like we got a lot of lights up here, but that's kind of what I was told, being told from my friend there. That a lot of lights up here. Looks like the next one just changed to red too, so we won't go too far. <laughs> Anyways, we'll continue on with our journey. And then we'll uh, see what else uh, for interesting stuff we'll be able to show you today. It definitely is a very productive, interesting day for me. I hope it is for you as well. Alrighty guys, it looks like we got one of these inspection areas where they uh, just sort of ask you if you're a Canadian, US, Mexican citizen or whatever you are, you know. So let's see 
what they want from us today. Not sure where exactly we're supposed to go in here, but I guess we'll find out. We'll find out. Yeah, that's how I look. Got a dog in there. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave the cameras on and give you a shot. Very good, thanks. You citizen? Canadian. Maybe? No one else back here with you? No, sir. No? Go ahead, thank you. All right. <laughs> yeah, just a regular checkpoint. as well yep it's all right they got to do their job they didn't ask me for no name they just asked if I was a US citizen and uh, yeah, I'm Canadian <laughs> that's right that is correct I didn't expect to have that along this highway but uh, I guess they uh, gotta have it every once in a while somewhere, you know. And that's the way it goes. Anyways, let's put the hammer down towards our final destination. 121 miles to go. I am almost to my last delivery. I'm keeping my fingers crossed that I am being directed to the right address. And the reason why I'm saying that is because the GPS is telling me one location and when I looked at Google, it keeps telling me a different location, but I'm thinking RJ is right. I am thinking RJ is right. When I type in the company name into Google Map, it shows me the same address, but when I just type in the address, it shows me further west. So we are kind of a little nervous about uh, going here, but I think we will be at the right place. But I just can't say enough how much I enjoy seeing these palm trees down here. Yes, there are so many of them everywhere, you know. Nice and green down here, it's like 31 degrees Celsius down here today which I think is like 88 or something like that. Somewhere around there. It's pretty hot in Fahrenheit too, you know. Yeah, so let's get down to our delivery place, hopefully. If that's gonna be the place. <laughs> I guess we'll find out here pretty soon. We are cruising along this US 281 towards Houston. I am so happy that I managed to get my load off and now we are empty we got a reload we're gonna go to the east side of Houston Texas and we'll be reloading there tomorrow sometime that's the plan anyways and then uh, we'll go from there yeah we're going to go to Toronto from there with that load. That's the uh, plan anyways. And we'll have to see how everything goes, but uh, it's going to be tight with hours to get up to Toronto, I think. Well, at least up to the border, I think it will be kind of tight. Yeah, that's what I think. That's what I think. That's all right. At least we will have some awesome miles. If I gotta take a reset, we gotta take a reset. But we will see how everything goes with traffic and everything. And if nothing goes too bad, then we should be able to make it to the border. At least I think. I think. But anyways, it's been a fantastic day. Hard working day, but we made it happen. We made four deliveries today. Now that's something in itself not too many places you can do that 
you know, especially with uh, having to drive about five and a half hours or so. I think that's what it was, or maybe even six hours worth of driving altogether, and still managed to get uh, four drops off. Now that's that's an accomplishment. Accomplishment. Yeah. And still we are empty, and we're still cruising. We're still going strong. Yeah. I know we got a scale up ahead here somewhere because I went by it earlier and they were open. I think it's just past this rest area too. So we might be coming up to a scale here pretty soon. And uh, before they were open when I went south and they were also open northbound. So it was a little bit of a different type of scale that I'm used to. But uh, hey, it was a DOT scale. That's right. We want to go through it. And if not true, it will stop there and we'll get inspected or whatever they want to do. They shut us down, they shut us down, and if not, we will go wherever they send us. I don't know. Look at this rest area here to the left. Isn't that gorgeous? That's a beautiful rest area, I would say. Nice little trees right there. Absolutely gorgeous. Yeah. We are done for today and we have had ourselves a fantastic day, hard working day today but it was a good day, it was well worth it and it is quite warm out here actually. I think it got up to like 31 degrees today and actually I got my AP unit running, it actually just shut off but uh, actually I do have the AC on and it's still like 26 degrees Celsius right now. So it's warm enough to uh, use the air conditioning. That's right. But we are done for today. I rendered uh, yesterday's video already. So it's being uploaded right now. And uh, getting ready to go to bed. We got a good ways to go yet tomorrow before we can uh, pick up our load. So, uh, meal. Yeah. I guess we'll just go to bed and get up whenever and uh, go pick up our reload. So with that being said, good night everybody. Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And give it a good thumbs up and share the video if you haven't. And remember guys, I'm seven days behind. That's right. Whatever happened today, you will see next week on this day. Well, today is Tuesday, right? Yeah, today is Tuesday, November 10th, so you will see that November 17th, that's right, there you go, anyways that's it, have a good one everybody. Behind me, that day is gonna come